Welcome to the MindView 5 Calculation Feature and Microsoft Excel Export Tutorial. This tutorial assumes you have a basic working knowledge of MindView. The calculation module has been added to MindView to allow you to add numeric values and run equations on these particular numeric values. In this example, we're going to do a basic revenue forecast and then we'll move forward with some more advanced features. You see four main areas, the United States, Germany, United Kingdom and Japan, each with two corresponding territories and their budget and actual revenue amounts listed in US dollars. To enter these numeric values, you open the calculation module, select the desired branch, give it a name, and enter the value. As I move to each individual branch, you can see they all can support their own unique values within the calculation module. For this example, let's start with a basic difference. I've selected my first branch and I've typed the text difference into the calculation module. And now I click one time in the value field and select it again by left clicking to access the formula drop down. Here I can choose the actual amount of revenue, subtract it from the budgeted amount, which will give me the difference. As you can see, the total has been calculated as 400,000. Now if I'd like to convert this 400,000 into a currency value, I can simply choose the defaults button and where it says difference, I can choose the valuation, use the drop down to access and make it a dollar. I can even round to the nearest decimal point if I'd like to and I'll simply choose OK. And that value has now been updated to take on the currency value of dollars. If I'd like to apply this difference formula to all branches, I can also do that under the defaults area by selecting defaults, choosing difference, and applying it as the default value. Where I choose to take the actual amount, I subtract it from the budgeted amount. It's already calculated as a dollar rounded to the second decimal place and I choose OK. This will now apply that information on all branches. So you can see we have the difference now applied to each individual category, whether it's a positive or a negative amount. Let's take a look at the summarization feature. In this scenario, let's say we'd like to summarize the budgeted and actual amounts for Territory 1, Territory 2, and display them on the United States branch. For this example, I left click United States, I go to the budget column, left click twice to access the drop down and I choose sum. This will take the budget from territory 1, the budget from territory 2 and display that information on the United States branch. Move forward again with the actual amount, hit sum and it will take the actual amounts, add them together and display them on the root branch. If again we'd like to calculate the difference for all branches, I can simply go to defaults. I can type difference, enter the formula in this field, choose to make it a currency value and select OK and we'll now calculate the difference as well having the individual budgeted actual and difference amounts and the summarization done on the root branch. Now let's move into a more advanced calculation function. Instead of the difference, we're going to use the deviation to get this in a percentage. I'm going to go back to defaults and instead of this being difference, let's type deviation. The formula also needs to be updated. And in this instance, we're going to do a string. I'm going to delete this formula and I'll begin my equation string with an open parenthesis. I'll use the drop down to access the first value, which is actual. I'll choose the drop down to access the subtraction condition. And I'll go ahead and I'll choose budget. Now to close this initial portion of the equation string, I close the parenthesis. I need to multiply this by 100 before I calculate the percentage, so I use the multiplication from the drop-down. 
I type 100, and then I'd like to divide that by the budgeted amount to get this deviation in a percentage. So I choose to divide, I choose budget, and this time I'm going to get rid of the dollar sign because I don't want this in an actual currency value, and I'll simply choose OK. Now we've taken the budgeted and actual amount, calculated the deviation, and even summarized that information on the root level. So as you can see, you can do basic summarization formulas or even complex calculations to do deviations on value amounts. MindView 5 also allows the capability to add constants. And you can think of constants as a value of x, where you can assign a certain value to x and then run calculations on that. For this example, let's open up another template file. Here we've taken the individual areas, the territory values, and actual amounts, and we've gone ahead and applied this in US dollars. But let's assume that we're getting the information in their own local currency, in the euro, in the pound, and in the yen. To apply the constants, you go into the default section, and you apply and enter the information. I've entered the euro conversion, pound conversion, and yen conversion labels. I've entered those amounts to convert them into US dollars. And to create a constant, you simply check the constant column. This allows the value to be accessed without it displaying it on each individual branch. When I choose OK, we can take a look at territory 1, and I'll zoom in. This is being displayed in US dollars already, so there's no calculation done on this particular field. But if we look at one of the other areas, such as Germany, Territory 1, and if I open up the actual amount area, you can see that the calculation has been done by taking the euro amount and multiplying it by the constant euro conversion. And I did that by hand typing the amount, choosing the multiplication sign, and from the drop-down, I can access my constants. So I've done this on each individual area, the budgeted amount, and on the main branches, I'm still running that same sum formula that you saw in the prior area of this tutorial. If we take a look at some of the other countries, United Kingdom, I'm using the calculation value but using the pound conversion for the two formulas. And if we take a look at Japan, I'm again using the yen conversion constant in the same manner. For this example, you can also see we have a running total on the root, which is pulling in the budget and actual amounts from the four main branches. And we're using the same basic sum formula that you've seen in this tutorial, where I choose the root, I choose the budget column, and I simply select sum. So for this tutorial, we're going to export both of these options, first the deviation and then the constants. Now when I export to Microsoft Excel, we still follow this branch order, which could be displayed visually by accessing and displaying the numbering scheme. And each branch information will be converted into a row in Excel. The calculation value names will become the column headings. And the numerical information will populate the cell itself. So I simply choose the File button. I choose the Export to Microsoft Excel and I'll choose the Advanced Excel Export. I begin by selecting my template. I go under the General tab, and I checkbox the elements I'd like to include. By first choosing the Layout Style, I prefer the Numbered. And I go to my Calculation Information, and I either individually check each box, or I choose to include all calculation values. And I simply hit Export. When I review that Excel spreadsheet, you can see I have revenue forecast. I see the name values, which is my areas in question. I see my budget actual deviation with my calculated values and as well the deviation. And if I take a look at these deviation columns, you can see that the calculation formulas have been carried over for each individual branch level. Let's now choose to export the constants. Now the constants, we had several constant values that we applied. And one of the default features inside of MindView is to show these constants 
in a legend. This allows my third parties that are reviewing the Excel spreadsheet, as well as myself, to understand how we came about calculating these numbers. So I follow the same principles, choosing the File button, choosing Export, choosing Microsoft Excel, and the Advanced Excel Export. I still select a template, choose the General tab, and export in the same manner, Budget Actual. In this case, I'll choose Export and save the file. If I take a look at the export now, we still have the same calculated information above, but if I scroll to the bottom, I can see my constants listed in the legend with the Euro, Pound, and Yen conversion rates. This ensures that colleagues and coworkers that are reviewing this Excel spreadsheet are clear in understanding how these valuations came about.